Hello everybody. Today, the title of my article, I think it's changed since it was originally added to the uh, assignment, but uh, it is Arch and Peabody aim to keep utility coal competitive with new venture. So, uh, these two companies, Arch and Peabody, are large thermal coal uh, giants. Um, Peabody being larger than Arch. Um, and they're joining forces on seven mines in Colorado and Wyoming uh, in order to save costs. And it, this merger will save them a hundred and twenty million dollars in the first ten years. In 2018, on a combined basis, the assets shipped 206 million tons of coal. The mines are operated by a workforce of 3,300 and with combined proven and probable reserves totaling of 3.4 billion tons of coal. This is an astronomical merger. I didn't realize that just how huge these coal mines could even be that the estimated volume would be in 3.4 billion that's just appalling to me one of the things I found interesting about this merger is the split it's always uh, very telling of who had the more power in the negotiation Peabody is going to own 66.5% of the joint venture, and Arch will own 33.5%. And the profits shall be split as such. Even though I believe that there is equal labor on either side uh, going towards these mines. One reason for this venture seems to be the one reason behind this venture is the popularity and low price of fracking for natural gas. My old house that I lived in with uh, two of my friends was heated completely by natural gas in the winter. It was very effective and it was much much cheaper than running AC units in the summer so I from a consumer level I can see where this pressure and uh, competition would be coming from some more another statistic to uh, support this decision is that natural gas currently holds 37 percent of the market share versus uh, coal thermal coal has 26 and then uh, I believe the rest is renewables and nuclear uh, just lumped together I couldn't I didn't find uh, those figures in the article Usually anytime I hear about these huge mergers, I wonder if there's going to be like an antitrust thing. Just because, you know, I'm suspicious of these companies. You know, I they're often huge and unopposed, but in I seeing the market share numbers this this is definitely a defensive measure. They're facing some very strong opposition from all other sides and uh, coal is losing favor with people in politics and people at large simply because of the environmental and cost problems associated with it so this seems to be a slowly closing market sector. It'll be around for 
a long time, but I do believe it is closing. It'll take probably 50 or more years for to see any sizable progress, though, just simply because these are giant companies to begin with. I apologize for making this one short, but uh, I've been recording in between coughs this whole time. I don't really have as much to say on this topic. I, I do think that coal is kind of an archaic form of producing electricity and other such relevant power. And I do believe more renewable energies or more nuclear plants will become more of the norm further down the road. But I, I think that the power industry is much more set than, say, the auto industry was in my last presentation. And it, it's going to run its course. It's not going to have, like, a fundamental shift in a matter of a couple months or so. Or a couple years. It's going to take a couple decades for these people. Because it's just such a large scale that it, it would take decades for anything to be worth it to them to shift so drastically their business models all my rambling aside thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed my presentation please tell me what you think about coal and other such forms of generating electricity in the com in the thread below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.